It all starts out done in practice field, so got to execute throughout the week just so we go in the game ready and prepared. Been, been effective near the goal line, too. I mean, not just Sunday, but maybe in recent weeks running the football. What, what, what's the mentality like when you get, let's say, within the five and, and you know run plays are called? Get it in. Plain and simple. Get it in the end zone. So, and when you have success, does that help in that regard, you think? Like, help with... What? As far as a confidence level or, a, or let's get this? Uh, I'm always have confidence in the goal lines. It's all about mind of a matter, getting it in there. So it's my mentality. Last week's win seemed to kind of pump some oxygen into this team. What do you guys got to do to build on that on Sunday and stack another good performance on top of the one you had? Starts out there, you know, practicing well, putting some good days together. Got another tough opponent at home. Um, and uh, just go out there and uh, play our game. You know, just build ultimate momentum from last game. Go out there and execute. What has led to you just not trying to bounce things outside as much as basically just taking the lane that's there for you? Yeah, really just just, just taking what the defense give me um, and just getting downhill. Um, I know it's going to be, you know, like I said, those 45 yard runs turn to more as the game goes on. But, you know, it's going to be dirty runs and, you know, just got to go out there and just, just do my job, press, read, just get downhill. That's what I've been focusing on. Not really bouncing, not trying to trying to do too much. Just go out there and take what the game gives me. And we're actually seeing Coach Art put plays together, like scheme plays to get you downhill. Why is it that you're such an effective downhill runner? I know I feel like because you know when I get my pass forward and you know, I make contact that you know I can run you know through contact and um, get positive gains, fall forward. You know some some runs that may look like you know one or two yards or, or three yards turning to four, five or six. So. It's about me just being physical, getting downhill, making my reads, and you know, finishing the run. What, what have they done to be so effective in run defense? Are they a good tackling team? Are they physical? Disruptive, good scheme, guys, you know, who play hard, high effort, you know, finish on plays, you know, hats off to them because they've been doing that all year and they've been very well at it. What have you thought of the way uh, Michael Pruitt is, is kind of uh, just taking that full back row? What's it kind of just been like running behind him? Oh, I, mean, I feel good. I feel safe. You know, I love and uh, who is in front of me, uh, you know, 85. So he does a great job. And when he's out there, you know, I have faith in him that he'll do his job and get a block so I can, you know, make a run or, you know, any run be efficient. Eric, since you've been up in Tennessee, how much have you grown to enjoy the Alabama Tennessee game every year? The result being the way it's been. I enjoy it because we've won 13 straight. So, I mean, it's a good rivalry. Just, I mean, I went to Alabama, played against Tennessee. It's a great rivalry, and the cigars make it better. So, so you still do it? Do I still do, still I still do it? One, you know, after the game. Uh, I, I didn't do it this year, but <laughs> if I'm around one when the game's going on, I definitely light one up.